Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable, the Judges, and Dear All Audience. Hi everyone, my name is Aska Hela Putri Prasetyo and I'm from MTSN1 Wonokiri. Today, I would like to tell you a story with the title The Legend of Rawa Pening. Hope you enjoy! Once upon a time in the old Java, there was a village. Pening was its name. Pening was a prosperous village. The land was fertile and the weather was always good all year round. It was on the slope of Mount Merbabu, so the climate was cool. People made their living by cultivating rice, vegetables, and fruit. The harvest was always satisfied, so all of them lived a happy life. That's why once in a year they held a ceremony called Bersih Desa. It was a kind of Thanksgiving day. It was a day when they expressed their thankfulness to God for a successful harvest. One day, after a successful harvest, they will celebrate the time they want something special. They want more meat for dinner, so they went hunting a wood. But that day, there was no animal at all. Animals were nowhere to be seen. They had searched every inch of the wood. But still, their efforts were in vain. When it almost dark, they were very tired. So they took a rest. They sat on something that looked like rocks and a big road. Everybody was silent because they were exhausted and disappointed. But then, suddenly, someone chopped the big rope with his sword to relieve his disappointment. Amazingly, the blood coming out from the road. They were surprised. Someone tried to chop it deeper. <sighs> Then they went home happily. When they were preparing a dinner, a boy came to the village. He looked poor. He begged food to some people, but they refused. They threw the poor boy harshly. Hey! Go away! Don't ruin our event with your dirty body! Ooh. The poor boy kept begging. Please, just, just a little bit. I'm, I'm very hungry. Go away, you disgusting! Oh, oh my god! But then, there was an old lady who took care of him. She was just a poor lady. She gave him food and shelter. Ew, ew. Let's take a rest here. Let's, let's go to my house for dinner. The old woman treated the poor child very well. Thank you very much. You are very kind to me. You are the only one who helped me. That's why I will save you. I am Naga Baru Klinting. Please prepare a boat for you. Then Baru Klinting left. That night, the people of Pening held a special dinner. Hey, you are on the edge of your seat. The water is pouring down the land. Anglia went on a sailing boat. It's a busy week. Slowly the boat has stopped. Pia, pia, a lot of water. Never get tired of smiling and laughing. Then Baru Clinton came to them. Hi, everyone. I have a challenge for you. Then he held a small bamboo and attached it to the crown. If you can pull it, I will give you a special present. <laughs> That's very easy. A boy said. He tried to pull it, but it was very strong, so he couldn't make it. Another boy tried. He also failed. Everybody failed. 
until she challenged Drew and adults attention. One by one, all of them tried to pull it, but all of them couldn't make it. When everybody gets to it, battle cleaning state. Oh, people of Pening, I'm Naga Baru Klinting. I am a dragon. I was meditating in the slope of Mon Merbabu when you chopped my body. Now I will take my revenge and join your party. Then he pulled the bamboo. Amazingly, the water coming out from the ground, the water immediately flooded the village. Everybody screams for help, but finally, the village sank under the water. They all drowned and died in the lake. There were only one survivor, the poor old lady. She has prepared a simple boat so she could survive. Since then, the lake is called Rawa Pening. Rawa, it means lake in Indonesian and Javanese language. Today, the lake is located in province central Java, Indonesia. Dear all, from the story, we can learn that never be arrogant and always be good and be kind to everyone. That's all of my story. I'm sorry if I have made a mistake and thank you for your kind attention. A monkey is stealing an apple pie. It press a button to open the gateway. I promise this is not a goodbye. I will see you again one day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.